Now, as we've seen from some of these images I've already shown you, uh, animals appear from about the fourth century. Why animals? There's no mention of them in the Bible. <laughs> well, there's a kind of hidden allusion to Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Uh, there uh, we read, The ox knows its owner, and the donkey its master's crib, but Israel does not know, my people do not understand. And this verse, Isaiah 3, was referred to by commentators from the second century, and it's probably in the mind of Luke, who three times refers to the crib. Now, the shepherds uh, are a sign that this verse has been repealed. Some of God's people do recognize their owner. Uh, but later on, uh, this particular verse developed an anti-Jewish note. Uh, the ox and the ass recognized their owner, but the Jews did, did not. So certainly by, by this time, the, the presence of the animals there would immediately have brought to ma in mind, and the, the preachers no doubt went on about it, would have brought together Isaiah 3, and the lesson would have been, even the ox and the ass recognized that Christ was the Savior, but Jews uh, did not. And just another example of the very unfortunate and destructive anti-Judaic teaching that uh, so many in the church have indulged in over the, over the years. 